You know, when I talk to members around the state uh, and ask them what their needs are or what issues that uh, are confronting them on an everyday basis, almost without exception, labor uh, and the availability of talent is, is a primary concern. North Alabama, South Alabama, and everywhere in between. So the leadership of the association wants us to address it in a more significant way. Uh, besides the training courses that we're already producing around the state and the other classes that we've been engaged in at the high school and tech school level, for the first time in the history of the association, we're going to uh, introduce legislation that gives us the template or a vehicle to better fund vocational and trades programs around the state so that we can offer bigger two grant programs, so that we can offer facilities and training for young people and also older Alabamians that may want to be re-entering the workforce in construction uh, as a second career. Um, we have to have the vehicle to fund so that we can do these programs. So next week when the legislature comes back from spring break, we expect a bill to be introduced that will provide that vehicle so that we can properly fund over time those type courses that will directly benefit the construction industry. Um, it remains to be seen you know, how that will travel. We expect it to pass. We've got uh, good support from both uh, Senate and House leadership, and we will move that, that program forward aggressively and hope for a favorable result.